And this is a really cool dissection that I'm about to show you. So here you can see we're taking a look at the top left side of the head. And as you can see, I can remove the scalp. You can take a look at the underside there. I can also remove the skull. You can look at that inside surface there. And then underneath you can see this connective tissue layer called the dura mater. And of course we might as well show you the brain underneath. And as you can see, we obviously removed part of the frontal lobe there, but coming back to this dura mater. The dura mater surrounds and protects the brain and it does have sensation. Specifically, it can sense pain. And guess what nerve brings in this pain sensation? The trigeminal nerve. And so when the trigeminal nerve gets activated during a migraine, it can also sensitize the pain receptors called nociceptors in the dura mater. And that signal will then come into the brain as a pain signal. So now that we know the origin of the pain coming in from the dura mater through the trigeminal nerve and into the brain, we kind of have to answer, well, why do I feel pain around the eye or the forehead or in some people in the back of the head when the stimulus is essentially coming from the pain receptors in the dura mater that is inside the skull? Well, that's a story of referred pain. 